Okay, so I am going to do a video today on maybe so far the most groundbreaking video is a lot of people that looked forward to because it's a whole a lot of people that knew about all this stuff that were involved in MK Ultra. Um, now I'm talking about the people like right on the top. Uh, definitely Chinese, definitely Indian governments, the government in India, governments in Asia, uh, and today I will enlighten you a little bit more about what do you want to call this Srebrenica genocide, uh, or you do want to be enlightened about how it all this stuff started. <clears throat> this stuff started in 91 with myself and uh, with the president Yeltsin and with a whole bunch of uh, other people uh, inside of the Kremlin uh, is a fabricated lie by the British, by the London, by the Buckingham Palace by Prince Charles, now King Charles, and by Prince Andrew. And is a fabricated lie they wanted me to see through. Reality is, MKUltra reality is, by United States of America, mighty Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, U.S. government, White House, U.S. Congress, entire U.S. government. That's how they wanted me to see. They wanted me to see this as a, as a matter of fact, Joe Biden was the one who stated that I was the president of this club, Club of Illuminatis. That is like incredible to be a president of people like Donald Trump, uh, Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, uh, you know, All the billionaires that you can possibly imagine, that, that you are the number one, that you are the number one. It's like really, really flattering, but I have to uh, decline that title and throw one in a trash bin, What's eventually is going to make humanity a little bit better, uh, happier, I should say, at least, and better. Um, reality, fact of the matter, with Joe Biden involved in it in 91, with every American White House politician, with God knows how many American politicians from the US Congress, with a females that even write, white females that write from the United States of America, from the Great Britain, uh, from Australia, just look who was popular in 80s. Talking about the Kylie Minogue, talking about the Samantha Fox, talking about um, the whole set of these cuties. And you will understand who traveled in 1991 to Moscow. To do what? To brain poison on behalf of Russian governments as much as possible. Um, I had no idea how it all started, but in 91, Russians have used next to domestic cuties um, a daughter of Boris Yeltsin, a younger one who got a Austrian citizenship even was uh, in 2009, I read on the Wikipedia today, was involved, both daughters were involved since the beginning. I liked that one back then, uh, but, <clears throat> and they tried, they presented this beautiful woman, white woman, and then they started to harass with minorities, with minority issues. They bring the woman, uh, of uh, 
definitely semi-Asian descent. Not really Asian like Chinese or Asian like I would say Kazakhstan or something like that. But they mingled inside of this circle. Um, <sighs> like Azerbaijan, Georgia, more something like this, but with a dark complexion in that sense. When next to this beauties that traveled all the way from Australia to meet me in Moscow, that's how much United States of, of America, next to the cuties that travel from Great Britain, that's how much Great Britain, Australia, were involved in this white power strategy. The strategy which you see today is rocking Ukraine to make impression on me, to, to brainwash me, to reject other females. The, the whole thing was done, you, you could say that like with the pimping, through the pimping procedure. Uh, Russians pimped with a beautiful white females next to, let's say, average looking females. And I apologize to the female world for what I stated because you're all beautiful. It really depends on what you see in one. Uh, so some people would say beauty is an eye of beholder, whatever. Um, and it's, that's definitely a true. I'm heading now to genocide of the Srebrenica, which is going to be a very, very, very short comment next to everything I have posted already my, on my website in respect to genocide, Srebrenica genocide. <clears throat> I've come to realize that a Princess Diana, in fact, loved me. Um, Princess Diana. Oh, man, uh, in respect to Prince Charles and Prince Andrew, um, <laughs> they brought these cuties. They were bringing their beauties to Moscow. Uh, you know, like a Kelly Megan and stuff. Kelly Megan is just a continuation of a <clears throat> legacy which I am talking about. But they were like Heather Locklear, and so on. There were other cuties, other beauties that were all over Moscow, all over Kremlin, uh, all over these private residences that Russian politicians had in Russia, uh, exclusive properties. <clears throat> Bizarre when Prince Charles and Prince Andrew appeared on the picture, uh, in as early like in like uh, this very very freaking early, all right. I told you about ninety one. It is bizarre shit when they when I recall them back all the way to ninety two, ninety three, and they repeated to me. It became evident at that point in time that they are lying hiding something that's that that raised the suspicion in me immediately as per gesturing me uh 94 gesturing in russia and moscow as uh they always did this shit uh, it's like always trying to make an impression that they just appear now you know like they're new to this procedure like since we heard, it was always like, since we heard that he likes white females and this and that, we thought we would brought with us this one and this one and so on. So they did this stuff uh, like on many occasions, like that would look like they just joined basically this 
exclusive, as Joe Biden stated, Illuminati club. Um, I am just going to tell you like this in respect to India and China. So just so that I immediately, you know, obtain, like you would say, supremacy over some kind of bullshit sayer that this didn't happen or something like that. So that I just handle the situation immediately. I'm just going to say the second one who joined to the club were Chinese. Chinese joined to the club in 1993. Eh? That's the Chinese government will confirm that what I am talking about is de facto fact. It was a white power club. American, Russian, British, German, white power club. A Chinese made it inside. Uh, they were not in 91. They were not in 92. Uh, God, God knows, really. Uh, in 93, I would say, or maybe even in 94, but I think in 93. Uh, so this was the second one who made it inside. And then it was the third one who made it inside. The last one. In 95, for the Indian government, I'm going to say, was the last one who joined into Illuminati exclusive club, which no longer became a white power club. Uh, and uh, we are joining this white power club, uh, Illuminati club. Uh, I had a problem. You know, that's how I know. I had a problem with the Indian people joining the white power club. You now, I, I started to get used to Chinese and accept it, but I couldn't. I had a problem with the Indian as the last one they joined. Uh, I had a problem with the Indian joining this club deal, Indians in India threw on a table some good-looking babes. Uh, they had a good-looking woman, too, in India. Oh, trust me. Um, and so um, I, I wanted to see women, basically. It was a pimping. It was like uh, brainwash based on a female beauty. Right? That's basically just the way it is. As for Srebrenica genocide, and that's how I know the Princess Diana loved me. I will only state to you, uh, Princess Diana told me in as early as in 1995 that she will divorce now Prince Charles, that he will not divorce, uh, avoid divorcing Prince Charles, and it's also entire British government knows about it, yeah. uh, because he committed already the third atrocity. He was involved in two other genocides, in two other atrocities, which placed British government at the top of the suspicion. They, they already, the, the governments worldwide had a big problem with the British government. And so in 1995, Princess Diana told me she will divorce. She said, don't worry. She said, you're not guilty. It's all right. She wanted to marry me at all costs. Because Prince Charles came with the idea that rather than to marry somebody else, would be that she would marry me, that she supposedly liked me. And a princess Diana told me, don't worry, she said, you're not guilty. This got, of course, nothing to do with you, but it does have with the Charles, because Charles committed already third atrocity. He committed the third genocide. It was a genocide even on a bigger scale. It was a horrendous thing he did, and Princess Diana couldn't take that. Now, can you take the facts? Rated as a schizophrenic, paranoid. Can you take the facts? Now I'm talking to you. And I'm going to give you all the doubts. Against myself. One can give the psychiatric mask that you place over my mouth. For you to defend yourself.
from what I stated. Because today, up to date, the only thing you did is you defended yourself with crime that even involved health concerns, most severe health concerns issues against me, which you used Slovenian police, butchers basically. This case was nothing but 33 years of butchery that evolved and finally next to psychiatric force hospitalizations issues such as problem with the liver hypotensia you developed cancer cardiovascular problems thrombosis blood clots in left foot breaking my spine and so on so I'm going to give you everything I can possibly give you Charles for you to King Charles for you to uh, express doubt for you to uh, find your way out because I would love you to find a way out I would just love nothing more than for you to of course uh, Prove that you are innocent, that you have nothing to do with it, that you are not the man on the picture, nor your brother Andrew. But I'm afraid that facts in this case talk way louder with a foreign government involvement in it about who you really are, what you have done, and what you are trying to present me in 2020 inside of the Srebrenica where you brought me, drugged up during MK Ultra. ruined me 33 years of life with your lawyers, with your attorneys, psychiatrists and psychologists, with everything you had in hand to destroy me through the world of lies. That's all I wanted to say for this video. You want to know anything about what do you want to know? I can go when it comes to MK Ultra to the last detail you wanted to stress about. I remember the trauma. MK Ultra is a trauma for the people that don't know. It's like you click the TV and you change the channel and you change the channel and you change the channel and you find yourself in one scenario and another scenario and another scenario. When they want you to be in a scenario they I have no idea intraveno assist you for you to gain conscience uh, uh, intraveno not because you are under the drugs all the time but they obtain enough attention from you because you go brain target I'm sure you have heard the expression you just your brain freezes it's like freezes maybe would be like the closest comparison to this stuff till somebody stimulates you get basically in other words attention from you and present you a certain issue with the lawyers whatever the way they want so that they can say yeah you did they provided British royals provided advocacy for the Serbian mass murderers for the Serbian war criminals such as Mladic, Milosevic, Karadzic and a whole pack of them out there. This is the scum, lowest of the low in this world and it's in a greater than great Britain. Thanks for watching this video. Today is April the 28th, 2023. I hope you enjoyed it.